Hey everybody, it's the Popstar Champ here, coming at you with another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate stream, where I take on the newest uh, DLC characters, Power and Mithra. But before we get to that, I need to do a little bit of house cleaning with Sephiroth, where I have to clear his, clear his spirit board. So we're gonna go in order, as I usually do, so let's see what I can do with this. Gotta go off Enderman, the best default. Yeah, this will take a, take a second. There we go. As you can see, I'm commentating again. I hope I can be a good uh, commentator for this. I haven't really done this too much because I just wasn't confident in myself, but I think I just need to get some practice in, so hopefully this goes well. Let's get started. a special ability where she gets a uh, power boost. I missed. Octo Slash. Okay, one more attacker turns it off. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this boost up. There we go. And now that I have another spirit for this, I'm gonna be going with Final Fantasy spirits only for this for this the challenge, or with power and myth when I get to them. They go up against Mr. T, and power won't be as effective against this, but I'll be fine. This is a good challenge for me. So let's see, I got okay, taking a look at the gimmick. Me and Portals will appear. So it's gonna be multiple, so let's see. I'll go with Giant, nah, it's too easy. I don't think there's any items. I don't need that. Yeah, I'll go with this, something a little basic and rank. Sure, let's go with that. He has bad Spanish, but that's where the interest comes in. Ready? Go! Now we go, grabbing them would have been useful. Uh, it's bombs all over the place. No chase. I guess I have a lot of defense because of the mismatch of my type. Eh, I I got hit by that. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting to the real fight. Just gotta keep chipping away at him. I gotta be careful for my glitch. Oh, I try to get the gooey bomb. Stick with Tifa for a little while. Get it leveled up. Defeat main fighter, side specials. 
Well, I don't have stamina here, so I can get you to spread a little bit. Hold on. Uh. Healing. Special move again. No. Let's do that to eating. Armor. There's no giant. Let's see, it's gotta be something here I can use. Probably just take two thoughts instead of just one. Yeah, I'll go with Hyper Smash. That works. This one might be a little bit tricky. Let's see, do they have backup? Yeah, I have a little backup, so I'll get, uh, weekend minions. There we go, that should help me get thoughts in my favor. Let's go. And I'll try and see if I can do a little bit of commentary on more of my streams in the future. And if I think I can do it a little bit better than I thought I would, then I'll probably keep on doing it. But if it doesn't feel like it's going well for me, then I'll probably go back to this commentary list and see if people enjoy that more. The reason why I was doing kind of commentary myself like that was when I was a kid and I was watching like playthroughs and stuff, I was like uh, I was like really like, uh, sorry. I like being able to get like the information for the game that I needed, but then not having like to hear people. Not that I didn't like hearing them, I was just like I want to get the information of how to get like a secret treasure chest or something, so I just went with that. And I figured that maybe other people would like that too, so I wanted to see if that would work, but just in case people like commentary more these days, I'll probably go with that instead. Cloud. I was gotta be careful with her deflecting that now. I think about it. Again, she's doing side specials only, so I should be careful with that. I'm gonna be okay with that. There we go. Yeah, the disadvantage of my uh, abilities attributes is really kind of getting me screaming over a little bit, but I guess I can get more interesting and not too one sided. Like if I use giant or something, I just only say like giant or something for like really tough matches, like maybe whatever the legend thing will be. We'll see eventually if that's too tough for me with this setup. I was on for about 13. Very fast, but has slippery physics, I guess. Can deal damage by dashing and has increased movement speed but reduced weight. So I'll go with something more armor related, so I can't knock me over multiple times with that move. So let's see, I was here a second ago. Which one was it? Uh, no. There we go, Armor Knight. Okay, I'm a little bit ahead in this one, so let's see how this goes. Ready? Go! Oh yeah, I forgot, you go way slower. Oh wow, that was faster than I thought it would be. I forgot, you go way slower when you have Armor Knight on. I forgot about that. And before we get into like the main thing with like Mithra and Pyro, I want to say like it's really just cool that Sephiroth got in Smash also, and that Final Fantasy got more spirits because it was one of the only uh, series in Smash that didn't have like a fighter you could equip as a spirit. It just had Cloud's like fighter spirit that you get from Classic Mode, which was kind of dumb because it's such a great series. So I really should have had more than that. Oh, I forgot to change my setup. Whatever. So yeah, I really should have gotten more than just what I had before. So it's a good thing that Sephiroth got in that he has better music, better stage, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess give a, I give like really oh man, I had a nine. I just get really invested in whatever I'm playing, which is also why I didn't think I was gonna commentating, but I'm gonna be more confident with that, so I won't complain about it too much. I'm just like explaining my circumstances why I didn't really commentate that much before and why I might be a little bit like lost in the matches. So I just wanna make that clear. Okay, now we're going up against Sid, who we have our advantage against, and he has hostile or assist trophies and increased jump power. Let's see if I have a sphere that helps with that. I think there is. Let's see. Let's see, let's see if I can manage it. I'm gonna give it to me. What I'm trying to look for. Aw oh, man. Oh well. Well, let's say I don't want to do Armor Knight anymore, I don't want to be too slow. Yeah, that's a good fast at the beginning.
Yeah, this might have been a too overpowered too. Oh well, we're here for Vince for a power or power and Mithra. I don't know why we're singing in reverse order. Reverse order. Eh. So yeah, we're here for those two, so I guess it's not too bad if we're kinda of equipped with this. That's why I guess I'm off a spotlight because he deserves it. Giant, but a high damage. Increased defense. Favorites neutral. Recommended. Franklin badge, like I thought. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm gonna go with Dark Mind. Because I'm a Kirby channel. I'm going with Kirby references as much as I can in Smash. I'm not gonna go with Dragon Killer, but I think this will be more interesting just so it's shooting me won't be too bad. See? I'm gonna get rid of the platforms. Oh, yeah, that's why I had them. First part of it gets bigger. Easy. That was way better than going with the Dragon Killer. Shooting power items up, and he has three slots. I might go with that. So yeah, more options than what I'm using. Yeah, I'll wait a second until I get past this green uh, grab proto prototype. Uh, the grab through it because I have a power advantage. Items will be pulled towards the enemy. Enemies distract my items. Let's see, I haven't really done too many like commentated on how these things work, so I want to use a variety of these. So where's the item pickup? I gravitation. It should be one of the words like it auto grabs for you. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. Du -du 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 -du. First strike, control, easier. I'll try not to be too long on this, I just gotta see where it is. Funko badge. Wait, I forgot to find it? Nah, it's just no gravitation. Yeah, screw it, I was going something cool. Special move, whatever. There you go. Ready? Go! Nah, I threw it off the edge. Why isn't the sock ball working? That'd be way cooler. This is the true supernova. Victory. Smoke bomb trap in dust storm. With the slash to the back. Oh, they have a ninja. Okay, after this, we're gonna get into the way tougher versions of these guys. Take your strongest team into this no frills battle, so no gimmicks. Okay, like I said, let's go with the with the three slots, and is there a three slot item I can use? I'll go with, let's see, not that. Not that. Go super giant. Let's go with this. Ready, go. Oh jeez, this is gonna be bad for me with that bomb. Okay, that's much better. Wow, he stood no chance. That was close, I almost burned this thing. Wait, is the fire getting bigger? I think it is, what the heck? I've never really used that spirit before.
Oh shit, he hit it. I gotta run away. Ow. Okay, he's smaller, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, never mind. It's kind of hard to hit at. Okay, much better. Yeah, I feel like Kribbis is kind of like one of the only characters in this game with the benefit of like being short and ducking away from people. Man, I guess it's also Pikachu when he lands with that weird kind of like second of it being like a pancake. So it's also that, but that's like a split second thing, which I guess is more important than it being like all the time. But you being kind of slower, like Kirby is. But hey, it's a give off. It's a given trade. Okay, lava floor. I need to be prepared for this one. Let's see, I want to make sure there's a different one, so let's see, that's resist, okay, I thought this one would be like immune. Well, this one is immune, but I thought it would be like, superpowers inside of lava, like what Gruntilda does with you poisoning, getting poisoned, then boost your power from that. So let's see, let's go through rank again, and I'll go with... Wait, is it giant? I don't think it's giant. Yeah, no, he just gets boosted with stats, so let's not go with giant killer, let's go with... I have it ignoring it. Let's go with. Oh, wait, no, it's two slots. Never mind. Nut metal. That's this. Oh, that was a Cisco. I could have used that beforehand. Even though I got that match relief last, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, he was on my grab. Gosh dang it, the Band of Thieves. I should have known that. Let's see, I'm taking too long on this, so let's go with something. Yeah, let's go with Luigi. So let's see, once I beat these spirits, I should be able to get a new materia. Oh, he was big, what the heck? Man, I'm taking so much damage because he's a high power man over me. Oh, geez, I'm dead. Yeah, that didn't go well. I should probably boost up this thing's level so it's not too weak. Yeah, I'm like 5,000 below him, it's gonna be difficult if I don't power up, so... Level up. Snacks. Okay, that's the best I'm gonna be able to do with this one. And since he does look like he's big, I guess I will go with the Drawing Killer. Because it was lying to me. Oh, Dragon Killer wasn't also two. Okay, no, it was one. Ready? Go! What I grab that? That side B really is hard to pull off, but it's a really good setup. And after the opposite with ice, we're getting an ice floor. Okay, now I know what spirits do was, so I should be able to get through this faster if I'll go with. Yeah, sorry, I got sent all the way back down here. Rank. So let's see, uh. I thought I saw it. There we go, it's this color. Not giant color. Now with the fan themes with the autumn auto with the item auto grab and let's see something just junk for the last one. Yeah, how's a good critical hit? Ready? Go! 
Oh, she's also big. I guess I should just assume that since there are summons, they're bigger. Crystal. Thanks, Cyrus. Ah, uh, jeez, I was hoping this wouldn't happen. She took way more hits than I thought she would. There we go. I wonder why that wasn't in the match. Okay, and before we go to the Hamid, since he's the main, main attraction of the Turks. Reinforcements. And it's a Steel Diver. Let's see, I'll go with... Let's see, if I go with ones that I've used recently, this should go by right faster. My date name. There we go, last use, so I'll go with... Eh... Uh, can't figure out which one I wanted to use. This is where reinforcements, so yeah, I want to get something like the Flex. And let's see, I might get a lot of damage, so let's go with one that heals me after a while. Eh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to bank so I can find that. See critical or something like they any kind of like critical comeback spirit. I forget increases power and defense when in our team, so that's what's not gonna help here. Critical final smash. Yeah, how the critical ones are, like, you have to have two of them, I guess I'll just go with something generic. <clears throat> so let's get special moves. And I'll use... I like items. With convenience. Ready? Go! So this should be... Not Rufus, I was gonna say, uh, one of them is, what's his name, uh, Rude, Rude, and the other one was, uh, Reno, that's what it was, these two are Rude and Reno, yeah, I actually got the Final Fantasy remake, and that was a pretty good game, really, so I was pretty impressed with what it was, I know it wasn't like how the original was, but I still found it pretty interesting. And I didn't get, well, it was like the first part of it too, so I don't know who these two guys are, I think that one was, um, I can't remember the girl, but then that dude was, uh, Sung, whatever his name is, and he was the main guy who was supposed to be Rufus Shinra, the father of the guy who was in the, the original order of the Shinra Corporation, but then now got, I think, hit by, uh, yeah, Sephiroth, so I guess I'm gonna do this kill right to him. Yeah, I was hoping we had the final edge for that. I thought it'd be in like the beginning of the match and he'd be like protected the entire time. I didn't think we had it at the end of the match, so it didn't really help that much. Now I'll send him into space with the meteor. Alright, oh, I missed. I'm gonna finish him with the rocket. Alright, he knows. Yeah, there he goes. There, his own personal meteor. Trade off with damage, you get better attack and defense and stuff. Okay, now I'm going on against the main attraction, Bahamut, and he is Ridley. Suddenly have final smash, and he's giant, so I need a giant killer. Definitely. Last use. Assist killer, or giant killer, and I'll even the playing field by going with what I wanted to do before, which is he should be 
Here we go, dry it myself. And since I'm still like 4,000 underneath him with power, I'm gonna go with. He gets 50 damage. Okay, I might be over prepared in this case, but I don't wanna lose too much, so let's do this. Yeah, I'm so for Rossi Alright, oh, missed. Yep, that's like I've been too cocky. Oh, Jace. Oh, no. I messed it up. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I got you cocky. I'd love to back up too much damage from them being so huge. Try that again. I forgot to use the damage on him again. Oh well, let's we'll be a more pure match. That was weird. That was close. Gotta try to get chipped down on his arm since I don't have the damage modifier anymore. I got my shield too soon. Nah, I almost had it. This is probably gonna finish me off, honestly. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. I'm still gonna try and see if I can do it without the 50 damage and see if I can do it in a more pure fashion. But if it takes too many tries, I will have to use it again. Still kill me, but I was hoping since I had less damage, it won't be as devastating this time. Okay, I'm still alive. I think I have my wing. Yeah, I have my wing on now. Ow, he got me with this thing, and I missed. This. Got it. Final Smash just increases the power of Final Smashes. I guess that's cool, but I think the. Ironically, like the Minecraft Dragon and the Ender Dragon had a cool ability with it being a mouthful of curry. I don't think any of the spirits do do that. But I guess it is no like, really big move, so it makes more sense for it to have that kind of effect. Okay, that finishes that, and let's just keep the spirit train rolling with the main attraction of the stream, PM. And like I was saying with, oh yeah, I have a couple of these. Well, since I don't think they had battles before, and since just to keep things a little bit more consistent, I'll take on these guys. And it's a stamina battle, and he has a fire sword with power, obviously, so I'll go with power and storm as well. I kind of do what Sakurai said, where I like chip damage first with Mithra, and then I go with uh, power defense drop. I'll just go power uh, at the start, and I'll go with the extreme, the deep colors of each other. I like these ones the best. And yeah, I was also thinking that like I have like some standards. Well, not standards, but like I think of some things. Whenever it's like uh, 
who would I want to see him get in the Smash? I have my favorites, but I have to, but if I had to go with like a more sorry I'm talking so fast. If I had to go with a more like objective or like statistical like thing that makes sense for who should get in, it would be maybe someone who's like who doesn't have many fighters in this series, and I would say that Zillay at this point is kind of one of those series who doesn't really have many people, so I was thinking beforehand that I really should get like a new fighter from Xenoblade 2. And I'll see, I'll go with one, I'll see, like, one character for now. I'll go with... Fiora. And so yeah, I was thinking that since there was only Shulk and he was like an upcoming series like Fire Emblem and they've been getting a lot of fighters, I figured that they could also use, uh, someone cool and new. So I'm glad they finally got a new character, and it was Pyro Mither. I was hoping it would also be better because I actually like, like him. Other people aren't like too fond of him, but I think he's a good character. He's not like the best, like the deepest, but he's still cool in himself. But in any case, I'm glad they got in, and let's see what they can do. I've played them beforehand because it's been a long time since I've been able to stream, and I didn't want to like wait until then, so I have a bit more experience with these guys than most other like day one streams, but hopefully I can still make it be cool. Oh, there goes Shulk. He dodged the wrong way. Oh, he made it! I'm surprised. Let's see, this should be running off soon. You, you, you. Oh, jeez. I should have used both of them. Oh, jeez. Better be careful, they're sliding tripping down, and you get rid of Lucina. There you go, this takes her down. And Lightning Buster. I missed. I better be careful. Not bad idea. Oh, never mind. It blew up. That was close. Yeah, and after having played with these two before... Oh, I forgot the Rex had an evolution with this one. I'm gonna get that. And I should have one that's boosted up to, I think, max level with this one. So let me see if I can find that one. Let's see, now I'm taking on Nia. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, Rex that's at level 99. Oh, I don't have him at level 99. I guess since he wasn't able to be leveled up, I didn't do that yet, but I'll get him there. It'd be easy. I don't really understand the point of these things. They're kind of useful, but they're kind of like a afterthought after you get all the spirits, or at least most of them. Ah oh, man, I was waiting for the text to pop up. Wait, what even happened? Yeah, back to level 1, I'll keep him there and see if he can just level up after we go along. And here is Vex's Master Driver form, where he has the most critical drip ever. Critical health stats, so when I get a lot of damage, I'll get more power. So I think I'll use that to influence what I'm going to use next, and I'll go with ones like I just got from uh, the Turks, where I get more damage at first, where I take, or I get better stats. So let's see my date. It should be, yeah, trade off. Ammo versus battle again. Stamina heals over time. Okay, I'll take that and beat you at your own game. But you know, I'm waiting for better stats, so I can't do that. I was gonna get my own healing move, but that makes no sense. So let's see, I'll go with Running Star to make my first boost even better. And I'll just keep on. Now, how do you do like my strategy of just going with Mithra and then we'll shooting the power? So I'll go with Mithra first. Hold on. And... Mithra. Just give both their names. Okay, let's just let's get this started. Also, I hope I'm not like saying the same phrase over and over and over again. Again, I'm like kind of really new to commentating, so I'm just hoping that I can like do it properly, but that I might be kind of just repeating myself over and over again. What's Nora doing? 
<laughs> what in the world? You didn't do anything. Why did they put him on such a high stage? That was weird. Well, I guess I won, so... Thanks, Draw Mark, you're a really good blade. More stamina, I guess it's an RPG they're trying to do. Like, the health bars, I guess that makes sense. And what did I have before? Yeah, I'll just stick with this. This is a good, like, generic setup, not, like, catering every single match, so I'll just do this in case I don't really need to, since so I have a uh, legendary standard spirit this time instead of, like, a two-star one. Oh, geez, here they come. And see, Daisy's supposed to be uh, Poppy in whatever form she is. Maybe it's Poppy Cutie Pie, whichever form she is in now. And. Oh, well, from here, It'd be cool if more of these guys got like a ball spirit instead of just mechs, but hey, you can't do too much at once, I guess. And speaking of Poppy, here she is herself with some more helpers in this hostile assist trophy. That's the simple that I have, so we can just, like get moving. I want to see if I can get onto the classic mode and onto some uh, online matches. And hold on, I'm just trying to make sure my computer doesn't die, so the stream doesn't end. Before the match starts. Okay, I'm plugged in. Actually, it's just the Dixie Kong here. Hope Dixie Kong gets in the game too, because I'd also say, like, what I was saying before, that, like, uh, some series in this game kind of feel like they don't have enough fires at this point, as opposed to like older series, like I would say Kirby and, at least for myself, I would say that's like the most one that he needs more people, but then I would also say something like uh, Zelda, like more objectively, is like they need way more people at this point. I don't know why they only have, like they have six characters, but they have like three people, because Sheik is Zelda in disguise as a ninja, Ganon is just himself, and he's has a better moveset now, but it's still kind of like Captain Falcon in his specials, and Link just has different lengths. They're literally just different lengths with different movesets. They're not like boring from moveset to moveset, but they are the same person. And you know, Zelda has like a bunch of characters. They have like as much over time as Zelda has, and maybe as Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem has had. And this isn't like to like dig at Fire Emblem, and they're still like fine, but it is kind of like they could use like, like Zelda also, like it's not like Oh, I want to get rid of Blythe. Like, I don't, like, really super want Blythe to be, like, gone or anything like that, but, like, I would say, uh, that, uh, I would also want Zelda to have, like, a bunch of characters. I don't want to have Kirby have a bunch of characters. Like, this ultimate, it's all thing is, like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of characters for everyone to have. And I was thinking that, like, eventually, maybe not right now, but, like, more more series have more fighters over time, because, you know, Kirby has three, Zelda has six, but it's, like, three people. And, you know, Mario has... Like, I think the most, and then there was a couple others, and like, just, you know, just everyone to have, like, a bunch of people. Because they all have, like, really diverse, uh, rosters and stuff. So hopefully in the future, whichever, like, with, like, more DLC, or maybe just, like, another Smash, they'll get more people in the future. So, who knows. Well, they hit hard. Wait, come back! So yeah, that's, like, my average thoughts on how I feel about, like, some certain fighter series. Fighter series, just certain series in Smash. I don't think it's like bad or anything, I just hope they get more and more because, you know, it's a sub regional gaming, they have more characters over time, and if, uh, Fire Emblem can get more people over time, and so can Kirby, and so can, especially Zelda, and stuff like that. But that's another tangent for another day, so let's just get back on track with, uh, Zeke, the. It's been a while since I played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm trying to remember what his, like, super nickname is. Uh, Zeke Von Gembu, the Lightning Bringer? I actually kind of forget, that sucks. I like this dude a lot. Let's see, his gimmick was electrified, has to survive until the timer runs out, and he can suddenly have a final smash with his Eye of Justice.
Ah, uh, yes, electrified wood that makes perfect sense. Yep, I really need to survive, guys. Yeah, I think my space stats are too high at this point because it was a novice level. I didn't think about that. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. It's not gonna be too bad if I get like instant victories. I just wanna make sure if I can, it's not like too instantaneous, but if I do, then it's fine. Defeat the main fighter. Okay, so this should have more of like an effect on my stats, so we'll see what we're gonna go with this. Last use, trade off, uh running start. And I don't need to do anything against the minions, so I'll be able to deal with them as I need to. I don't need to have like a item to do that. And here's Laura from the main character the main character of the DLC of Zing like Chronicles 2 with uh she has like a whip in that game and her main blade is Jin, which I assume is Oh yeah, and Zelda is also her second blade, which is uh <sighs> again a long time since I've seen it, I think her name was I forget what her name is, but I know like Jin is supposed to be Cloud and Zelda is supposed to be like the woman blade that she had with like a staff. I also really like Zelda Blade. Uh, yeah, I really like that DLC. I think it was something that had like a better story in a way than the main game, kind of, depending on how you look at it, but it wasn't like... The main story wasn't bad either, I kind of liked the characters, they're all really cool. And Zelda Blade is a really good series, and I would say, like if I had to like give like a... Uh, Rating of like Howard Rader, I say like Zelda Blade Chronicles X maybe could be seen as like the worst, but that's like maybe like a seven or like an eight in comparison to like the nines and tens of the first two. So I wouldn't say like it's like that bad. Then I would say Zelda Blade Chronicles Two is my second favorite, and there's a lot of enemies I'm gonna get the wicked minions. So yeah, then I would say Zelda Blade Chronicles Two and DLC would be like the next best, and then I would say like the first Zelda Blade is like my favorite of the three. I'm glad that the definitive edition got. Sorry, talking fast again. I'm glad that the definitive edition got to like the best. Oh, like got onto the Switch where I could like play Zoom Blade Chronicles, the first one for the first time because I wanted to get it, but my Wii's been messed up, so I couldn't use that one. And I managed like I still got into the series through like uh, Trigger Conroy. If you've heard of him, he did like a uh, playthrough on the first Zoom Blade, so I got to see that like all the way back when. And it was really cool. And so that's how I got into the series, like before I still could have gone to Smash, that was how far away ago it was. And so that's what got me into the series, and so I've been glad I've been able to like, watch it. I got to get, like I wouldn't have gotten the like oh, it was X, and when I did, if it didn't, like, I saw a playthrough. And then I was thinking like, you know, I like this playthrough, I like this game, it's a really good story. And I wouldn't say that the story of X was the greatest, but it was still really good again, so it wasn't like the worst, and so I liked that. And it's also like it was a really good experience, and I'd say like even if it wasn't like the greatest story, I don't think that was like its main objective, so it wouldn't be like a failure or anything. So I really liked that game, and then we got two. That was really good for the first year of the Switch. Then we got Definitive Editions, so we could finally play it, and I would say confidently that I do like that one the best at this point. Yeah. Sorry, I don't gotta focus. There you go, that's my critical stats. Let's finish it. Hopefully, we're about 6.6% 6 .6 HP. Nope, I'm screwed. Unless... Yep, there he goes. Maybe she could try and kill her equipped instead of having critical stats. Or, I mean, critical... Yeah, trade-offs, what I mean. So let's see, party. Let's see, Minor Size is going to be too useful here, so I'll get Giant Killer here instead. And. Hyper Smash Attack, so we can go by faster. Hold on, I'm going to do that again. We can minions, I have so many of these things all the time. And I'll do this a little bit quicker this time since I already got through the just the fight.
Man, this is like super armor on. It's really hard to hit it. Oh, the healed. I didn't realize that I did that. I should have paid attention to the uh, stats, like the description. Oh, what I missed? First advantage strike where it gets invincible if you get the first hit. Pretty good one if you have a projectile, maybe even like foxes where it's like super rapid fire. I might use that, but yeah, it's not like you choose so you know what like, every single spirit does. Here we go, here's Jin himself. See, even in the ice floor, the ice floor. Ah, uh, Cloud is back with this to prove my point. And it's a stamina battle, so I'll go with a little bit of those. Let's see, I'll go with. Not sure I did that. Uh, ice floor. Oh, uh, jeez. Oh, she's water based in her game, so I thought it was ice floor immunity again. Uh, where is it? I left to use. Oh yeah, I didn't run into Ice Floor before, so that's why I can't find it here. My bad. Let's see, I'll go with recommended. There we go. And what else do you have? Stamina, so I'll go with stamina or increase. It's kind of against what Vex's ability is, but I don't really mind in this case. And let's see, Jin is meant to be like, really, he's ice-based and he's super fast in the original, so let's see if he just jumps all around all over the place. That was close. Yep, I'm, I'm gonna move in speed. Not sure why, I feel like everyone's, like, bigger than me. Is it just, like, I'm being weird, or is it, like, I don't know what's going on there. That was close, I almost ran into that. Or like, let me do that to me. Yeah, I thought I almost fell off there. Speaking of which. Whoa, he just like super slid there, what the heck? No, he's speed up, but still. There you go, I almost got the short perfect round smash too, but that'll come later. Now on to two legendaries, Malos. I have to get him, but I'll make his minion speaker too. Yeah, he's pretty high above me to like no bird stats. I better get good spirits for this. So I'll go with I'll go with one of my leg, giant killer, and giant killer. Uh, geez, I keep on getting these names mixed up. Giant, uh, boost, and... Yeah, special power. And then I'll go with weakened minions. And I'll just go with that. I'll go with power that can take damage out of this. Why does it last long? Hey, his sword, the Monado. Xenoblade. The Aegis. Wait, that's me. And also him, I guess.
I thought that'd get him. There we go. You know, for this being a Zealot Chronicles 2 board, there sure are a lot of, like, Zealot Chronicles 1 maps here. Let's see, this last one may be against Pyramid themselves. Yeah, there we go. Suddenly so have Spiral Smash just randomly will kill each other metal at high damage and the stamina battle. And their grab type, which is good against me, so I should be careful. So I'll go with Giant Killer, not Giant Killer, Metal, metal Killer. I'm not gonna lie, calling it Killer seems a little bit aggressive, I'm surprised I bump with that. Let's see, I go with Reedy, she's known to get hate metal and civilization and humans. And I'll go with. I'll go with more Sarina. Again, I guess what Rex wants. Against what Rex wants, but it's still pretty good. Just to make sure I'm not like too far behind. I should probably boost him up a little bit before I leave. And I'll just put on a little bit of big minions to get rid of Shulk. And since Mythos Final Smash is meant to do damage, if I can show her off, I'll make sure to use hers for the, for the, for the finish. Yeah, I think I do a lot of damage for you because I'm in my, uh, I just abandoned with my spirits typing. Oh, you didn't know he talks in this. Weird. That's cool. Okay, just here we go. I knew Mithril hated me. Pyra. I got good stroke faster. He doesn't keep doing shit damage to me. Is there a critical stats? There we go. Oh, I'm just barely late. That was close. I've never been to someone trying to get to be careful with her now. Okay, so here we go. I try to pick it out. And I have been going around advice. There you go. It's barely still alive. Metal shits. Alright, dodge me. Ah, oh, dang it. I just thought it was a fuss for that one. Let's see, maybe I should boost myself to level 99 to finish this. Yeah, I'll just level myself up, that'll be enough, hopefully. Okay, now I'm over the power, but I'm still at a disadvantage with my. I'm gonna use this too. See, the advantage still isn't good, but I have a better power level. And then once I'm done with this, we'll get on to the classic mode, then online. Ready? Go! Oh, he's kind of intending where the what the places are. Tool. And in case he didn't hear me over me talking, then he was talking about how that's our gentleman back there, which is like which is place of business. It's not in some town. It's another place. Well, I thought I dodged that. And so yeah, this is where he does establishing business, which is why his 
the uh, get him like that. He's meant to like be like a salvager or an undersea dude. Because the Cloud Sea is like also like an ocean in its own way, kind of. Yeah, it's not doing good. Back over to Shulk again. Yeah. Oh, I missed. There we go. I wish she can use Final Smash when she's using her side B. Oh, that hit me, dang it. That was too big of an arc for me. I didn't expect that. Yeah, the spirits is managed is like way more important than the power level apparently. And I don't think you need the middle part of it too easily. I need to go with the better spirit than just special moves. I'll go with trade off. I'll lean into well, I'm gonna do that, I need to do this instead. Let's see I'll go with Has so many special move increases. So you don't need that. Not that. Not that. Yeah, I'll go with this. And I didn't use any items that time, but whatever. Yeah, I'm in game room now. I'm probably not gonna talk too much. Oh, I dodged that. Oh, I got a new Titan this time. So this one's a Ryo, I think? Or maybe it's Tantail. I can't remember which one. They kind of have two, like, big rare ones. Well, if it's the first one I said, then this is, like, a more indoor Titan. They have, like, different things where, like, one can be, like, more indoor focused where you are, or it can be more uh, outdoor focused things. This one's, like, where you're, like, more, like, the belly of, like, the monster. Monster of the Titan. Not any more damage. Oh, she switched to version faster than I thought she would, dang it. Now I have my final smash. What? Dang it. Okay, I think I can do this. I just need an item this time. I'll do a health drain. Mix it up a little bit. So apparently the artwork for Numa here is like completely brand new for Smash itself because they never gave her a model beforehand. And that's because like they're like in the game. Oh, it's damaging. I thought that was something else. Anyway, so yeah, they had like portraits of all the characters and like the mages and stuff, but then Numa was like a more special ability than like a character you could like equip with like staff and stuff, so they had like no portraits for her, I guess, beforehand. Man, this is really easy. So yeah, they had to make a new uh, portrait for the spirit here. And that's pretty cool, honestly. They have like we brought about like a new kind of thing, like how beforehand, 
Smash first came out, there was also like, uh, other metal now. And like Smash had like a new kind of like, uh, censured thing for Mithra where it had like her leggings had to be changed. And it had like a new item in like Mithra and Mithra in. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 itself, where it had like a new like legging equipment where it's like she had more damage. Or like more critical damage because of that. That's close. They should finish it. They are beautiful finish. And she also has critical healing and metal. Nice. Okay, that finishes the spirit board cleanup. Let's get on to the classic mode. I wonder what it is. And 10,000 more parts. And I'll go with... Let's see which color should I go with now? I'll change it to a different color. I'll go with... Darkness. And I'm always gonna go max difficulty and max rewards. I guess we're gonna go with like... Character doubles, kind of. Get down here. Oh, I missed both of them. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a score from this match because they're standing around. Okay, here we go. Hame, Hame! Much better. I'll probably get like seven points off of that. Call it. Yeah, it's like similar ish characters. Hey, I don't know when this crew's attacks over here. We actually should have to trip with that. See, I'm gonna see if we can do this only with Mithra. Ah, I almost got her. Oh, that was close. I'm just letting her get back on. Thanks, Max. You're a big help there. Another point seven. Hopefully, I can get the nine point nine like other characters. And now I'm just gonna keep on like switching back and forth to whoever I need. Crossbar. Not sure why I threw it there. And there goes that thing. Jeez. Those are the good items too. Five hit. Back shield. That's all much. There's like a small thing with I think Kid Icarus Uprising's like anniversary came out recently, and Sakurai himself in the tweet said like Oh yeah, we might make a new one. Well, not like might make a new one, but like we want to make a new one. But it's like really difficult for the control scheme. So I don't think it like means anything in the future. But like hopefully they can make something out of it because a lot of people like the game. And again, I watch uh, Trick Conroy's playthrough. Right? He's like a like let's player. I watched Trick Conroy's like playthrough, and it's really cool. So hopefully he gets something new. Probably longer it takes.
Alright, downhills. Tornadoes, uh, kicks. Oh, you have a tornado too. Bad year. There you go. I thought like the move was way too easy to the dodge or like shield out of. I gotta be careful of getting too much damage on me. Hopefully, uh, I missed him. I'm trying to get, uh, there you go, Ken. Dolphin? Is this lightning fast defenses? Not for a moment. See, I'm getting a bit of scores. Hopefully, I just don't KO myself. Yeah, never mind, that was terrible last time. It's kind of the weird thing about classic mode. If you want to get a really good score, you kind of have to play in like a junkie kind of way, in my opinion. I'd like to get as fast as win as possible. Wait a minute, why are these two a team? They don't have anything in common at all. It's not like Kirby or Mario is also like the same species. Weird. Yeah, speaking of which, it was really good. Okay, I need to get 1.5 points in these last two matches, because that running course didn't give you anything. These are projectiles, I'm going to go somewhere faster. I'll take that. Ow. Okay, they have no damage now, so I go with fire. And I'm gonna take hold of this for a second. And goodbye. Ah, there we go. Ah, there's my jumps. Ah, I'm losing it. That's one, and. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I have power, fire power too. There we go. Hopefully, I got like seven points off of that. I don't like redo it or anything to get like nine point nine, like for sure. But I hope I get enough points. Yeah, now I need to get like a full. 1.2 in the next one. 1.1, I guess, at least. Okay, now I have to change from Mythra so I can go faster with this one. So you gotta hit this one a little bit later. Okay, gotta run for it. Got him. And I don't know how to get the ones up here. Is it like some sort of trick to this? I don't really get it. Like, I know you can like hit these and then go over there and get them, but then like things like bite on your tail at that point. Well, I guess not on my tail because I'm I've passed a character, but like, good I mean. And also one more like I learned a lot of things on Twitter. I saw like some clip where somehow some online match, some dude, I think like the Pac-Man player, like hacked it so this was the states they were playing on. It was weird. And then they had the, even had like a sudden death and like both got to the end and everything. It was kinda crazy. And now, yeah, this makes sense for a master hand fight.
Let's see, I'll go with Mithra to get some ship damage. And I got hit by the confusion. Foresight, so I didn't get that much damage. There, go ahead and knock him out. He missed me. That was weird. I'm gonna finish Master Hand off if I can. Uh oh. Ah, dang it. Eh, yeah, bad idea. With those lighter, I should have stayed heavy as Pyro. Well, there goes the 9.9. .9. I'll just use a ticket to keep my score up. Man, I take a lot of damage here. Gotta stay in the game. There we go. This is first off, master hand. Oh jeez. Prominence. Ah oh, man. Gotta get back on stage. Wee. I love you can just stay in the like falling damage on like the death plane on the floor when you beat them. That was close. See, he thinks I'm cool. And here we have the only Chronicles 2 melody. I haven't really having a good look listen to this yet, and I probably won't be able to hear it here now because I'm hearing a bunch of like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So since we've had like so much time with these characters at this point, I wanna know if you like in the comments, I'll probably even like upload the stream to my YouTube account too later so you can have a better chance to comment there, but and then if you had the chance to play with Pyro and Mother for a while, how would you like rate them up out of all the DLC characters? Like your favorites, to, like play as, do you like them as characters? Like how do you feel about them overall? And this would be a point where I should, like talk a lot, but like I have like a really good system, which I'm not really following right now with like the credits here, so I'm probably not gonna talk much here either. Okay, here's something that's kind of like off, not off topic, but like more like less structured, so not like as focused to like shoot and talk at the same time. I kind of like how I've been able to stream again now. I've had like some moving troubles since I've been like having to get internet, having to get up my, set up, my play set up to get like a good streaming set up uh, here. But I got all like down pat now, and hopefully I can keep on streaming in the future and not be like gone for pretty much a month at a time. So hopefully I can go on doing this and. If I do do like a game after this, I'll probably do like Kingdom Hearts because it's my favorite like PlayStation series, and I've been like a Nintendo playthrough, or, like a Nintendo let's play, being like, oh yeah, I play I play a lot of PlayStation games, but I haven't really like played a game, played a PlayStation game yet. So I was thinking, yeah, since Kingdom Hearts is my favorite uh, series, I'll go with that one. I'll go like in sequ sequential order with like Kingdom Hearts one, then two, and all the others like Chain of Memories and stuff like that. I was gonna keep on doing Mario, but I don't really know I do Sunshine yet, so this is like my in-person thing. I've like said like tweets, I've been like, oh yeah, I'll do this, this, and this, but this is like my streaming, uh, 
notification for this. Okay, I'm going to the end. And I... Hey, look, there was right there. And Nintendo. Let's see, what's the picture? Ah, uh, yes, they're in all risk. He's the little son. Guess we have to buy Mithra for her as his trophy, or for her fire spirit. And I get one of my tickets back. You reached the limit for certain rewards, so some rewards could not be received. Well, that sucks, because it's my spirit, like, affecting materials. So I'm going to see if I can find that spirit in the shop. Mithra's fire spirit. Vault. Shop. There we go. Nice. Let's go on with these later. And uh, I'll borrow some of these for my new spoils of money. Pitching batter. Professor Biggs and Plassey and Learner. Who are these guys? Hilda. And, uh, animal costume character, Daisy May. Okay, let's head online for a little bit, and then bring the stream to a close. Let's see, I think I'll do some... I think I'm gonna do a tournament. And a Kirby tournament is going on right now, but I'll get to that later. Let's do, like, a couple of tournaments, see if we can win one, and then I'll end it. So I'm like, sound like a downer, but I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna end right now. I'm just like making sure I know like what my system is. This was going on for an hour and twenty minutes at this point. And maybe in the future when I have like more for following, I'll see if I can like get a uh, more like sanctioned boom. Being like, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, an arena, so I can do like specific setups. Being like, oh yeah, this is like the music. This is the stages, maybe. I'm just doing like online matches that I don't have much of a following, like a big arena to go with, unless I have like my friends to like chat up and like, hey, you guys want to like do a arena for like, all this stuff? So yeah. So I'll get to that in the future, but you know, this is a humble beginning, so I'll just do what I can. Up against Mewtwo, the ultimate life form that's not Shadow. This is kind of slow. Okay, here's the damage. Good teamwork. Now you got me. <laughs> Ooh, just last one, nice. That's all I need. Yeah, I like the finish matches with Mythos whenever I can because power is like obvious and I don't really mind that, but it's like I don't really get to see Mythos victory celebrations anymore because I've I always like switched them up power at the last second. And now we wait for the next match. What else can I talk about? Okay, here's another question. Have you guys 
gotten a character you really wanted to smash yet, either in like ultimate, like in the ultimate cycle? Have you gotten them as like a base monster character? Did you get them in DLC? Has like one of your like mind-bogglingly great characters gotten in yet? I would say for myself, I haven't gotten someone like some like crazy awesome for myself, but like I like the characters. I liked Hero's moveset. He was pretty fun. I like Joker. He got me into Persona in the first place, and I really like that series, so I'm appreciative of that. And I was hoping for a Zillion Chronicles 2 character too, but I kind of like didn't care as much over time because it took too long. Like they wanted to be like a base foster character, then that just didn't really happen. Uh, sorry, my stream's kind of messing up, I think. Uh, let's keep talking. So yeah, like I've liked the characters, some of them, and they haven't been like too disappointing to like me. I wouldn't say that they like sucked or being like, oh, get rid of them, like I said before, but like I think they've been fine and decent to upgrade an instead. I just haven't gotten some like uh, Bandana OLD, which I want, or Sora, or anyone like that. So hopefully someone might be like, maybe like Spyro or whoever comes in eventually, but I'll have to say type and it doesn't happen, it's that's the breaks. Here we go. I don't care about your PK fire. Get your PK fire. I'm falling behind. Oh, how did I miss that? Just get out of here. Ah, come on. 